Hello, everyone. Welcome to Technologies Discussion Channel. Today, I'd like to continue the discussion on EMC consideration. For this video, I'm going to emphasize on grounding. In fact, I have done a discussion on part 35 on this grounding issue. For this video, the objective is going to take a close look on image plane. What is image plane? How can we actually implement image plane to cancel or maybe minimize the effect of differential mode radiation? So this will be the objective of this video. This will be the part 36 series discussion on EMC consideration. The rest of the video, I have put the video link under the description. So please take a look on those video if you're keen to know more about EMC consideration. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and also the subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Guys, feel free to comment. For example, what are the topics that you guys are keen to learn and how I can actually improve my delivery. Once again, sincere thanks for your strong support. In a PCB printed circuit board, RF current are generated by a source and transfer to a load through a trace. Okay, for example, over here is the source. They basically generate a current deliver to the load. RF return current must return to their source through a ground return system. Okay, so what it means is basically the load actually need to return the current back to the original source through the ground return system. So this is what it means here. Hence, a loop is formed within the ground return system. You can see over here, this is basically the supply and this is the return system. So with these two, okay, you can see that a closed loop is actually formed. And as a result, magnetic field is generated. Okay, so anything when we actually have a closed loop, okay, you probably learned that from my earlier video, you actually generate magnetic field. And when you actually generate magnetic field, okay, they can be a closely coupling magnetic. And this can be potential uh, issue for EMC. The magnetic flux generated is proportional to the loop area form. Okay, which means that the magnitude of the magnetic field is actually proportional to the loop area. In short, the larger the loop area, the larger the magnetic field that you actually generate. And the more hazardous if this thing managed to couple over to a neighboring device and disturb the neighboring device. So this is an issue. And you also can imagine that any neighboring device noise actually couple over here and may disturb the device over here. So this is the issue about having a big loop area that you actually form up when from the supply and actually from the return system here. Okay, the next two slides, I probably have done a discussion on the previous video, but let me discuss this in a little bit more detail so that we can actually understand what is the image plane. Okay, so early on, I have mentioned that, again, this is a source, they drive the current to the load and the load need to return the current back to the source. There can be two paths, okay, either path A or path B. Okay, so when they actually take the shortest path, okay, they will actually use path B to return the current from the load to the source. And when they actually implement under the lowest resistance, okay, they again they will take path B. Okay, imagine this is a ground plane, okay, which means that it's a conductor material, okay, for example, a copper in a PCB. So basically this will have the lowest resistance and the so-called returning path may actually choose this path B to return the current from the load to the source. However, at certain situation, okay, they actually prefer to return back through the lowest impedance, which is path A, okay, which means that it actually find an alternative path okay, from the load, actually run back all the way back to the source without passing through the ground plane. Okay, so this can become a potential issue because 
when we actually return back to path number A, for example, we can form a big closed loop. Okay, and this can be potentially increase the magnitude of the magnetic field. So therefore, let's take a close look on this furthermore later on. Again, I have discussed this on my previous discussion. You can see that at low frequency, 1 kilohertz, okay, you can see that this is the supply. Okay, they basically drive the loop, for example, for this case here. So you can see that they drive to the loop. You can see that the return path take the whole ground plane to return back to the source. Okay, so basically this is the situation at lower frequency at 1 kilohertz. When the frequency increase to 1 megahertz over here, okay, you can see that okay, again the source actually supply the current to the load. Okay, you can see that they also return through the ground plane. Okay, but you can see that the the ground plane is not utilize the overall ground plane. So therefore you can see that they basically will be very near to the supply. And when the frequency is further increased, okay, you realize that basically they may form alternative path to return back to the source. So this can become a big issue okay, if we are not carefully designed on this. So this is the objective of this video okay, is to how to implement image plane in order to curb this kind of issue. Okay, to design a good signal ground, okay, we must keep the ground inductance as low as possible. So use a ground plane. So what does this mean? Okay, so typically we have one component side. Okay, we want to have another plane straight away underneath it to implement our ground plane. So with this, we actually can keep our ground inductance or impedance as low as possible. So this is what I mean, use a ground plane. Okay, we can take the whole ground plane as a reference point for the signal on top of it here. Okay, we can control the return ground current flow from the loads to the source using an image plane. Okay, so this is the objective. We are going to understand what is image plane over here. An image plane is an example of a good ground return system. Okay, it is in a layer of copper ground plane internal to the PCB, physically next to a circuit or signal plane. Okay, so you can see over here, so you can see that this is typically a component site where you mount all the component. Okay, again, you can imagine that all the traces are running all over the place in this component site. So underneath, we have the ground plane. Okay, so this is what it means by implement the image plane. It's a layer of copper just a good conductor. Basically, they are in the internal to the PCB. They basically are just next to the signal plane. The main purpose of the image plane is to provide a low impedance path for RF current to return to their source, flux return, and hence reducing EMI emission through flux cancellation. Okay, let's take a look on this image plane in order to understand better. Okay, so imagine the solid line belongs to a signal which is on top of the component side. So basically, you can imagine this is a source. Imagine this is the load. So basically, the, the source actually generates the current to drive the load, as you can see from here. So they drive the load. And underneath here, basically, you have the ground plane. Basically, how does the current return is basically through the ground plane. So they will be returning as close as possible over here to the original signal. So with this implementation, can you see that the loop area become very small? Can you see that the loop area basically are all the way here? Okay, they become a very close loop as compared to earlier on. Okay, the loop area can be this big. And now I, we can actually easily reduce the loop area to this small. Okay, so you can see that this small is actually depend on the so-called the separation between the two planes. So this is the meaning of implement the image plane. The best way to reduce the distance between the signal trace and the ground plane. Okay, so the best thing to do is how can we reduce this distance between the signal trace and ground plane as much as possible. However, in most cases, there is a limit to the reduction because the distance between the signal plane and the image plane cannot be less than a certain value. If it is lower than this value, the fixed impedance and function of the circuit board will not be guaranteed. 
Okay, in fact, in addition, it can also provide an additional path for the RF current to flow. Okay, which means that okay, if we are going so near, almost sticking to each other, you can you imagine that this alternative path can in fact be a driving source. Okay, imagine the source actually travel instead of the solid line. They actually travel onto the dashed line. And this can become another issue also. So if we keep this distance so close that if let's say the RF current, instead of traveling by the signal path, they actually travel by the returning path. This can be a potential issue. Okay, so this is the definition of image print. Okay, the key idea is basically by implement the image print, we can keep the loop area as small as possible as you can see over here. So this is the objective of this video. Once again, before that, let's do a quick conclusion on this ground consideration here. Important objective to follow in laying out a PCB in order to minimize emission and susceptibility of the circuit on the PCB. Okay, so these are the two key things that you need to keep in mind in order to lay out a PCB. First, we need to keep the loop area of critical signal. For example, you have a clock signal. Okay, we need to ensure that their current return path occupy a very small estate area. Okay, remember, the larger the loop area, the larger the magnetic flux. And once you create this, okay, when they actually couple over, you have a bigger issue. So in order to resolve the issue of magnetic field, we actually want to keep the loop as small as possible. So please be very careful, okay, especially for a cross signal. Use an image plane or, or the ground plane for the returning current path. The image plane will provide a low impedance path for RF current to return to their source, and hence reducing EMI emission through flux cancellation. In addition, Use a ground trace to provide an additional alternative low impedance return path to the image plane return path. Okay, so with this, I'd like to end my discussion. Please help to like and subscribe. Once again, sincere thanks for your strong support. See you guys.